Okay, we're on Unity again, and this time we're gonna tweak some settings uh, to Unity itself. So we're gonna have the panels. We're gonna change something in the panels, uh, the launcher, and even the dash. Okay. So what you need to do is actually open up your software center and look for this program called Dconf, or just search for Dconf, and install this one, right? Uh, if you're installing from the terminal or Synaptic or something, it's called dconf dash tools. Uh, that's it. That's all you need for this one. So after you do that, press Alt F2 and run the dconf editor. And this is the what we're going to use to configure it. Mm, okay, there you go. And then expand your desktop here, and then go to Unity. Expand that also. So in Unity here, you can change some of the form factors. So right now it's automatic, and that automatic will detect whether you're using a desktop or a netbook. But um, so this is our desktop here. If I, uh, you see the size is like maybe a three fourth or something like that of my screen. Uh, if you wanted to like have the netbook. Uh, interface where it has the full screen. You can go to netbook, right? And now when we open our dash, it fills up the whole screen. That's all it does. This other one it was just expanded or not expanded. Uh, it's really not that important, but let me show you what that is though. So you do the dash. Let me change it back to um, automatic, right? If you do the dash here, uh, this is expanded, and this is not expanded. That's basically what it is there. Right. <coughs> uh, the other thing you can do is in the devices, uh, you see that it says um, devices option here and it says only mounted drives. Uh, basically what that means is that you have this launcher over here and you see my mounted hard drives or USB 2 I believe. Okay. If you don't want this to show up, all you gotta do is just change uh, to never and then it's gone like that in here just don't do anything in the launcher uh, I don't want to do anything right there right now the panel um, some people want you know their um, their icons to show up again in the panel and you can actually do that because by default you have uh, these options up here so right now I put it to all right and now it will show all my um, you know tray icons but the default is this here and it only tells them to use specific uh, apps uh, to show up on there like Skype and Wine and all that but if you t you put it to all like this said here uh, then uh, I'll show all of them like you have like back in the GNOME panels um, you know glass release so that's all you gotta do just change it to all and uh, just save it and after you do all of that, what you want to do is uh, restart Unity. And to restart Unity, just Alt F2 again, right? And just put in Unity dash dash replace. That's all you gotta do. Otherwise, uh, you can log out, log in again. Same thing, but Unity dash dash replace. Uh, you don't have to log out. That's it for this one. If you want to configure or tweak your Unity stuff. Um, there you go.